We feel safe now being a part of the Helm Gang. She offers you a quest, which today, guys, I bring you a complete guide on. And as I make this video, there's a glitch that still works. I accidentally found an infinite time glitch that works within the encoded log enigma protocol mission but today guys i give you a complete guide a complete run through on everything you need to know about this new quest how's it going guys my name is dpg and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so timestamps are down below if people want to skip to a certain part okay so this starts off with you going to nessus talking to failsafe within the meteoric mission you are then instructed to break the vex quarantine here simply disrupt confluxes simple stuff people take out the vex and disrupt the free confluxes you then make your way down to the impact site here again it's quite simple take out the compelled monitors they drop those arc craniums you pick them up stand on the points indicated on screen and bounce those lasers around the room to progress a couple of cycles of this and this part is done you then guys have to fight a small boss called the compelled mind take him out before collecting your rewards and head into the helm where you get a cutscene after this guy has talked to failsafe and then complete the new arena of breach executable and the first part of this is quite simple here take out the vex until those hydras spawn Take out those hydras and stand on their pads. Here guys, shoot those purple balls normally up high. These drop data which you have to collect. Upon you filling up that data collection seen on your screen, you then go deposit that extracted data. Do this until that bar is full and this stage is done. It is time though, so do not hang about. You then push on to do more or less the same kind of thing. But here instead of that data coming from those purple balls, they come from you hacking these confluxes that spawns in three points A, B and C. You then seemingly stand on those said points, try not to get hit up into the air by those whatever they are. Is it water? I'm not sure. But once you capture these, this spawns in those captains. You kill those captains, you then drop that data. Collect the data, deposit it, simple as that. Rinse and repeat until that bar is again full. After this part is done, you then progress onto the boss who is a tormentor. Here again in this room, you can collect and deposit that data. Uh, but with this, it just gives you that failsafe XP as far as I am aware. Now, upon you taking out that tormentor, you are teleported to your loot. From here, collect away and head back to failsafe at the helm. Here, failsafe will give you a quest called Rising Chorus, Act 1. Now, once you've collected that standard radio light sampler, you then have to collect three samples. The three things to collect are highlighted on the Nessus director. Simply spawning at the system, making sure it's marked on your map and progress to collect all three of them. Now, upon you collecting the third one, you enter a small boss room. Simply take out this boss, people. Simple as that. Then guys have to return to failsafe. So do what you gotta do. Okay, so once you speak to Failsafe, you will get the Specimen ID Ness 001 quest pop up. Simply here, acquire this and deposit said things within the helm. Simple as that. Here though is where you get the encoded log quest. Here it stakes, explore Nessus to find the source of a reported Vexnet integration on the planetoid. You have to find a disturbance. So track this quest guys and it takes you to Nessus. So here is what you need to do, load into Artifacts Edge, then jump down. As you do, you will see there's like a weird purple pool on the floor. If you stand in this pool, you get some random numbers pop up. Here guys, you need to run over to this conflux and initiate it. Then run back to that purple pool and stand in it. From here, it gives you a clue as to where to go next. It states tangled between fissure and dust, rise above the growth. From here, guys, go to the watcher's grave and follow this path I take up this tree.
Once you are here, access this conflux, then jump down onto this purple pool for that next clue. It stays in the descent to a gateway the echoing well finds purchase in the network from here guys you need to go to the well of echoes which is literally just nearby so as you enter this well you go through the teleporters uh, and make your way down to this mini bus now to remove this boss's shield you take out this box which is found up high this removes the boss's shield allowing you to do that damage so once you've taken out this boss you are now indicated to travel further on down so once you're at the bottom here is where you start the encoded log enigma protocol activity so the activity itself can be difficult because it's time based so here guys it's about running through this to get to the encounters that await time can be extended by 30 seconds when you destroy these gold prism like things you'll find here there and everywhere now the first encounter here is within the experimental grid one here guys you have to charge the radio light circuits in the vex charging pools basically pick up that ball and run to those pools on the floor it can be pretty difficult because there's a lot of ads here now once you do this guys you have to deposit that ball now there are those gold prisms within this area too so shoot them for that extra time you can also see those pools with a circle symbol above them which will spawn in a timekeeper enemy which if you take it out you also get that extra time now once you are done here guys you use those boosters to make your way to that next encounter but here guys is where i found a glitch so there's a glitch i found by accident where it seemingly gives you infinite time up until the end of this section of this mission where you get that loot pretty cool so here is how it works as you enter the mission have someone stay behind in that first section make sure they stay alive just hide wait until your two teammates have pushed through to the teleporter where you have to charge that radio ball thing what we just covered then guys the player who stayed behind dies jumps off lets an enemy kill them do what you gotta do or wait until it says you are joining allies and just join allies from this point guys seemingly you have infinite time for the rest of this part of the mission all the way up until you collect that loot now like i said this works as of right now this will be patched i'm pretty sure as soon as they figure this out so yeah use this while you can okay so continuing on so once you've gotten past the charge your radio like circuits you now have to like i said make your way around to the next encounter here you have to be very careful as it's pretty easy to fall off remember shoot those gold prisms if you see them okay so the next encounter you'll end up at is where you have to destroy the coral denial agents this is simple the enemies marked on your screen are the ones you need to take out they drop those balls you throw those balls at those shielded enemies it takes them out and you're good to go here simple get this completed you then enter the teleporter where you get bounced around until you end up on that sparrow track here get down as fast as you can if that time glitch has been fixed uh, by the time you watch this and there you go guys this part of the section is completely done collect your loot now when you're in this room here you can restart this if you want to or you can rally the flag and push on onto the second part here enter the teleport and while from here guys you have eight minutes to push through this and take out the main boss there's no real puzzles here it's all about time shooting those gold prisms and doing this as quickly as possible you will enter this part of the mission which you have to collect 20 golden age data but this is as simple as shooting those purple balls for them to drop that data collect it and you are good if you die though i do believe it removes what you have collected so keep that in mind once done here enter the teleporter and here guys again being very careful looking out for those gold prisms for that extra time make your way forward tip though the hole on your left is the one to go down once you progress enter that boss fight and to be honest it isn't really hard at all uh, the boss just likes to teleport around the room but once you do what you gotta do take that boss out what you're best at doing and then enter the teleporter here you have like a quick little sparrow run be very very careful not to fall off not to lose your bearings because this is the last step before you get that loot and complete this mission so good luck to you guys it really is as simple as that guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one
We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Vid after vid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Justin E. Gameplays, Weekly Snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.